<laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, well then let's do this, What's Kyle. What's up? Football you Fridays? You this pump. That's, yep, how, you that's, the that's how we get it in. Answer. Okay, yep. so uh, Football Fridays, mm -hmm. but at the same time, the big matches are tomorrow. Yep. We'll start with the ILH, okay? Yep. Punahou St. Louis. It's a classic ILH rivalry, Punahou St. Louis. Punahou, they're trying to kind of get back to how we've been seeing them these years past, kind of that top team in the ILH. They just lost to Kamehameha last weekend up on the top of the hill. So they're trying to recollect from that. Meanwhile, St. Louis, they beat Kamehameha two weeks ago. So it was a 37-7 win over the Warriors. And they're hoping to take that momentum into this week. Um, and Punahou, they're not the Punahou we've seen before. They're still trying to figure out. They have a freshman quarterback in there in Hunter Fujikawa. Meanwhile, St. Louis has finally figured out who they have at quarterback. They've been sticking with Nainoa Lopes these last couple weeks. So they're, they, he is their guy. And I'm trying to see how these two defenses kind of respond to each other because their offense is not exactly as high powered as we've seen in these two teams in the past. So it's going to be a defensive battle and it's going to be an exciting one. Yeah, St. Louis under new leadership with Tupu Alu Alu. Mm -hmm. how, about, how about this squad to the west side? Okay, we got a couple A and we got Campbell getting a lot of love for the Sabres. The Sabres are on fire this year, 3 0, and it has a lot to do with their quarterback, lefty quarterback, Jaron Chiavi Sangopolatelli, the tall kid from Eva <laughs> Beach. He is killing it right now. And actually, last weekend in their win over Farrington, he became the state's all time career leading passer. He has over 10,000 yards in his career right now, so he is slinging it. Meanwhile, the Farrington governors, they are, excuse me, they lost, uh, they beat Farrington and Coppole, they are 3 0, but they haven't really played any. Oi, open teams yet. This is their first true challenge of the season, and it's going to be on Tama Amesona over there in Kapole to see if they can get things going against this offense, who on average scores 55 points on average. Wow. So this uh, Campbell offense is potent, Steve. Okay, we got time for one more. Yep. Let's go with an old school powerhouse, uh, Kahuku and Farrington. Those are the big boys. Yep, big boys up front. All around, Kuhuku, Farrington. Now, Kuhuku, they're coming off of a loss as well as Farrington, but they lost to the national number one in modern day True. up on the North Shore. So they're trying to, you know, get their confidence back up again and become, you know, that standard that we know that is Kuhuku, which is a tough defense mixed with a potent offense. And Farrington, they're trying to prove that they belong back up in the open division. Again, another, another team under new leadership in a former UH um, player in Mike Lafayette. So they're trying to prove that they belong and what better way than to prove it against the current champs. There you go. All right, Kyle Janin, thanks for joining us. Football Friday. We'll be right back.